Hello everybody, my name is Sherry. Welcome into Black Dog Designs. I hope you're well today. We're here to do a little bit of a flip-flop journal, do a little bit of collaging today. And if you like that kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any future uploads. So I've had this kit. I did a journal with it. It's from Compass and Ink off of Etsy and it's called Butterfly Garden. So these are just some extra pages that I had left from when I did the kit that I thought would be really fun to collage and make a little flip-flop journal sort of for the end of summer. I mean, I know it's still summer, but eh, we could still get away with some flowers and butterflies. We'll be into fall soon enough. And I wanted to use, because I haven't made a flip-flop journal in a while, and they're so fun. There's many, many ways you can do them. I think if you just search flip-flop journal on YouTube, you're going to see probably 20 different ways to do these. The way I like to do them, well, some people will tear down the side. I don't really like to do that. For me, I don't. it doesn't seem like it really helps me out <laughs> to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this front little piece. I think my dogs are in here with me, so if they get to barking, I will put them out. Um, I'm going to take, this is going to be the front, and so I'm going to glue it onto the back right here. Hopefully that makes sense, because I want, this will be the front, and when I open it up, I bring it about three quarters of the way down, it's going to flop out, okay? So let's, I'm just going to take my glue pages. Well, I hope you're all well. I hope this video finds you all well today. I hope you're safe wherever you are. Um, if you're anywhere near the fires and floods, stay safe, be safe. We had our first and probably only hurricane we'll have in our lifetime here in California and the West Coast. Um, on Sunday and it was pretty crazy. We got a lot of rain. We're in the high desert, the eastern high Sierras of California. So we're kind of where the mountain meets the desert and there's a lot of flooding because it's so dry. A lot of the roads are washed out down toward Lone Pine and Independence. Yeah, it's really crazy. That water is no joke. I'll tell you what guys, that Mm -mm. That water is no joke. So what you want to think about is which way you're going to use this. Okay, so this is going to be our front. Now, I got to think about, do I want one to open another one to open this way, which I probably do on this one. And you're going to bring it in just slightly from the crease so that you can bend it over. So I think I'm going to bring this one. I think I'm going to bring it... What I'm thinking is if I want the other one to go backwards. Yeah, let's bring it this way. So we're gonna come and just glue, it's not all the way to the crease there, but close enough. Just wanna be able to bend it over. Yeah, that was pretty crazy, that hurricane. I've never been in a hurricane or we've never had uh, it didn't rain a lot here, but it rained hard. I mean, it rained steady. Didn't rain hard, but it rained a lot. And if for reference of where we're at, we're about an hour and a half south of the eastern entrance to Yosemite. So if you are familiar with that, that might give you a little frame of reference as to where we are located. Okay, so this is gonna go here. Now this one could flip that way so that you would have there and we can always glue that. Sometimes these things work themselves out too because you open that because you could do that. But if you do that, then you're going to have a little tuck there. But you could also flip one here so you've got one coming this way. I've done that before. So you've got... This flips out and then that flips out. I think we'll do that on this one. Let's just do that because it's, like I said, it's not gonna matter. Again, mainly what we're gonna wanna do is 
glue and leave room to, they always make their way. They always sort of get their own personality and it works out no matter what. There's really no wrong way to do these, so I don't want you to feel like there is because there really isn't. You can trim, you can, you can always make adjustments. Okay, so our little guy, now the base of it is, <laughs> trust me, you, it's easy to get yourself goofed up. So now I'm gonna wanna open, so what, what I'm doing here is, okay. So this is my front. This will open up, close into here, and then this one flips this way, okay? So what I was wondering, let me take a drink of my iced tea real quick. Yeah, and again, excuse my dogs and their barking because um, there's a lot of commotion outside. So I did grab, this is just some sort of scratch paper type stuff that I like to use. I was curious on this because it is a little bit, got more heft to it because it is a, I thought that would be pretty on the front, wouldn't it? Ooh, that's pretty. So we could essentially Cut that right there if we wanted that on the front. So we could cut it right here. And right here. And where would we cut it here? Well, we gotta cut the white off too, so let's take account for that and we cut it. Here. Okay. Let me just get my little cutter. I think this one will work fine for this. Yeah, if my dogs get too noisy, I can shut the front door. Help them in frame still. And then our little tick mark is over here. So we're getting rid of one of those white edges there. You can sew around some of these pages um, if you wanted to. But I mean, it might be a little harder once you get it together like this, I would suppose, but um, totally doable. I would say if you were gonna do that, go and sew around this. Like I might do that and, and come back. Oops, shoot, I didn't do that one very good. Okay. And then sew around it before you put it on. You might have a little bit of a white edge, but that's okay if you do. We've got lace and all kinds of things for the edges, so. Okay, there's our mark for there. That was kind of violent, wasn't it? All right, let me go sew around this and I will be right back. Okay, so there's that one sewed around. You can leave the little threads, doesn't matter. So that one we sewed around a little bit, just for the fun of it. Just adds a little bit more texture and dimension to your piece. And I think that's gonna be pretty, just glued right on there. I do, I do, I do. So I think what I'll do is I will go around, I'm gonna come in the center, I should make sure this is working. So I'm gonna go all the way up and down the middle with my glue stick. And these are not my preferred glue sticks, by the way. I'd really like the Uhu or the Scotch, but this is all I can find right now, so it's what I have. And I'm gonna do my 
our glitter glue along the edges and on the stitching, especially up to the corners because I find it holds so much better. Yeah, I'm really hoping that this new layout that I've done in my craft room is gonna work out good for me. I, like I said, I'll link that video so you can kind of see what I mean about what I've, what some changes that I've made to my craft space that I'm thinking are gonna work quite well. Get these out of the way. And we're just gonna line that up as best we can with our edge. If we go over it all, it doesn't matter. We can always clean it up. Where's my squisher, squisher? Here's my squisher, squisher. That little piece just worked out perfect right for the front. So there is the front of our cover. A little trimming up here and there, but that's okay. Um, I'll set this aside for now. I don't need cardstock again, so let me just set the cardstock out of the way. And we will do a little collaging on here. So some of this paper is just, like I said, it's just on printer paper from the kit. So pretty. I think this will... You know what, this blue one would be pretty right here. Do a little bit of that. So we have the yellow and the blue. That'll pick that up nicely. So we're not going to be going for perfection here. I just wanna get some of this hydrangea on here and this blue butterfly. And we'll see where we wanna put that maybe we can come like right here maybe we should go to the edge with this take off that yeah, so if you live anywhere where you were affected by or in any of the hurricane or flood areas, feel free to let me know. Okay, we're going to need to straighten that out a little bit. That side wasn't very straight, was it? It's funny, that's the crooked side, but the other side has more real estate on it. Um, and, and you can use these a little for little pockets and stuff, so that's pretty neat. Let's tear this one. Or we could, let's do this. Let's tear it there. Should try to tear straight, I guess. And then let's just come here like this see where see what we get was he this way or was he this way he was this way so we can just kind of put him right here yeah put him right there And I don't have any rhyme or reason at all to this, you guys. I'm just collaging as I go. I've done these with gel printed papers. I've done them with kit paper. There's any number of ways you can do this. have to be straight. Let's bring it a little down there. So I don't know how far we'll get today on this. I hope I'm in frame for you. But these really do come together fun. 
And don't worry about your edges. If some of your edges show, it's okay. Let's look at something else here. Maybe we could get, let's tear off this edge. But the weather is beautiful here today. It's 75, it says. 75, so that's nice. My dogs have enjoyed the sunshine today again. They're very happy to have the sunshine, as am I. And this might have a little bit of white on it, yep. Okay, so. I just thought I'd run a strip down there. right down here perfect oh perfect that's going to be perfect right there I had one of these kits sell on my Etsy shop that was um, from Roxy Creations and it was an Italian inspired theme flip flop journal it was so pretty I was really thrilled when it sold. And the lady said she really liked it. So I was happy about that. I'm just looking for my pen. There it is. Try to keep my art glitter glue from gumming up on me. All right, so there's that. And we can also grab out other papers too. It doesn't have to be from this kit. Let me just get these edges off. I just had it sitting here for a while and I kept thinking it's so pretty. I should use it in something. Shoot. Sometimes these little pieces are hard to tear without going wonky. A little bit of this on here. Just maybe a little a bit of the writing right there. Now let's just get the writing. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I should go get my basket of scraps. Set it near me. I moved it when I cleaned up my craft room and reorganized my craft room today. But there are some scraps in there I could utilize, so I'll go snag that real quick. That would be pretty there. Let me go grab that. I did get rid of a lot of scraps a while back ago, so I don't have quite as many as I used to have. Grab some of these little ones and get them off my desk so they don't stick to anything. And we've had a lot of roads flood, a lot of uh, a lot of damage locally. We didn't have any structural debt. Well, though we had a tiny, tiny leak one evening, but it's it's a place that we have trouble with anyway with leaks in our bedroom. And every now and then it happens can't really tell you why because we have a new roof but it does you do yeah I threw a bunch of my scraps away a while back ago um, just because I had so many and I hate to admit that I did that but I did oh that's too thick got lots of um, some um, some Gel print scraps. We'll just run that guy up the side. And then we just need a little piece in the center. Yeah, the reason I moved a few things around is I want to be able to sit at my desk and jelly print as well 
and I was having to go over to another cabinet that I had and do that, which was fine, but it just wasn't the most convenient thing to do. So I was trying to make myself just a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit more usable area that I can just sit here and do this and not have to move about the cabin back and forth so much. There. All right, so we've got What did I do? Oh no, never mind, scared myself. So we've got, and I put the words on upside down, but that's okay. So we ended up collaging that piece. I was thinking we were collaging over here. See, it's easy to get yourself turned around in these things, but don't, don't fret, it's okay. It is okay. So let's see, and we can use these for pockets. We could cover that. We could, you can always stick some collage paper down in there so you don't see the white. Works out pretty good that way. Let's see, what else do we have? Ooh, this is pretty. That's pretty. Let's use some of this. So I got the butterfly upside down and the words. That should show you. you don't take yourself too serious with this because it's all going to work out. Now I'm just getting some of these little edges off make it a little bit easier to work with. So what would be pretty there? We could put, this would fit right there, but let's get it the right way this time. Ooh, yeah, let's go there. I like the little postal guy there. Okay, let's do that. Ay, ay, ay not easy being me I'll tell you what now the thing to watch out for here is if you glue here you're not gonna be able to get into your pocket but we can just glue to here here and then cut that off the remainder Let me know in the description box, or in the comment section, I should say, if you've um, ever made one of these, or you've been curious about making one, or you want to make one, have attempted to make one, or afraid to make one, <laughs> anything, just let me know. You can see, kind of, though, how fast they really do go together, because they're not, you know, it's not rocket science by any means. And what's nice is this way you can use scraps. You don't have to order a kit or anything. You just use what you have. Or scraps of... I did it again. I put the words upside down again. Oh, well. Yep, I did. Such is crafting, kids. Such is crafting. We'll just make the words run all different directions. That way nobody knows. Let's see? They'll never know because the words are going to go all directions this time. I might have to come back in and put a little bit more glue right there, but that's okay. Art glitter glue to the rescue.
<laughs> the little bee guy. So he's going to go here. I should make another bee journal. Bee journals, bee journals are fun. Bee journals and sunflower journals are fun. But we're getting toward fall now, so time to get some fall journals made, some Christmas journals made. Ow, thumb is sore, guys. I have issues with my thumb. I have arthritis in it, so it gives me a lot of trouble. Come on, our glitter glue. For dinner tonight guys we are having turkey pot pie not sure if we'll go for a ride out on our side by sides or not go check out the some of the road damage we had some friends that went last night but we didn't go we stayed home but it is kind of fun to cruise around and see what the storm did to some of our roads that were on all the time. So now, because we want people to think that we kind of know what we're doing, although we really don't, we're going to put some writing this way. That'll be good. So yeah, easy turkey pot pie for dinner. I'm not gonna, sometimes I make them individual, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna make it in a big um, pie plate today. A little easier that way. Just as good. Just as good. Oops. Do all the gluing here. That's why I don't really like this stick, glue stick, but I always end up going around with art glitter glue anyway, so it stays good. Now we can put here is this little butterfly. Him here. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get this going this way. Uh oh. Stuck. Put him like this. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to think if there's anything more exciting to tell you about other than having a hurricane. Went and did my scans last week. This week we go see my oncologist on Thursday. Okay, so we've got, oh no, this is, this is the guy that's gonna flip backwards, remember? He's gonna flip that way. 
think what I'm going to do so that it doesn't look too bad is come in with some writing and just go like across so you know that something like this. I'll find something when we get there. We're not there yet. But that's going to be our back flippy outy guy. I think. No, maybe not. No, it isn't. Our back flippy outy guy goes the other way. See, it gets confusing. That's why I did the wrong piece. Okay, so we got that and that done. Now we've got two choices. We can either, I would probably just on this come along and ink this up. I can hear airplanes. And you could come around, ink around the edges if you wanted. Here. So there we have that. And another thing you can do too, which sort of is handy if you've got one of these little blending tools, just like lift your little envelope up and just sort of blend right there. And that just gives it a aged look there. So, okay. And it's funny, you think you're, like I, I think I mentioned this, you think you're gluing it a certain way, but then it starts to sort of do its own thing after a while. Okay, so there's their front. There's our pocket. Let's look at another piece for over here. That's really pretty. Really pretty. Let's just tear some of this. Let's go on this side of hotel. Come in here. And we're gonna go right about to there. Right to there. that lace up there. You know, you can cover the whole page. You don't have to. Well, let's see, yeah, tomorrow I gotta get ready to go. So I've been working on some laundry. We're gonna stay up in Carson, just have a little fun play. The only thing here is since this comes here, that's okay. So we can always cover these edges with something. I'm going to go just a tiny bit so I don't close off that envelope. Yeah, so we'll have a little play, go have a nice dinner. I do a little shopping, but I don't really need to do much. I wouldn't mind hitting Michael's. Just look around, see see what I can find. Or Joanne's. See what I can't live without, but don't really need anything huge. Okay. There's that. There's that one. Okay. Again, we see a little bit of envelope there, but that's okay. Maybe we could come in. I can't believe how many scraps I threw away. This is a scrap from a journal I'm working on that can be used in here. And stickify yourself. Yeah, that's 
pretty. Maybe we could come in with a oh, keep grabbing that one and it's a it is a card stock and I don't want card stock. Come in with a little cuff type paper. You can see why people that do collage, how your desk gets so messy. Because you've constantly got little scraps going to and fro everywhere. Let's do this one. That works pretty good there, but. Yeah, let's put it there. Actually works pretty good there. Let's see. Have to look and see how long I've been going. I'm trying to keep these sessions about 30 minutes. If I can. Cuz we'll do this in a few in a few sessions. How long have we been going? 39 minutes. So we're a little over. Maybe we'll go 45. Put one more. Oh, my eye itches. We'll finish this piece up, and then we will be done with that for today. But you can see sort of how our project is coming along and how pretty it looks. Let's get a little piece of this guy. This rain, run it up the other way, since we're wanting to confuse people and make them think that we do not know which way words are supposed to go. We'll just run it up there. Do it like that. Paper's getting all gluey. This little guy right here again. This little guy right there. One more here. I made my dogs, um, my dogs just love uh, sweet potato treats. I get them at Walmart or Smart and Final. And they're sweet potato treats wrapped in chicken. So I made them their own homemade. Well, I made some chicken and some beef treats last week. And they really liked them. So to, yesterday I made chicken wrapped in sweet potatoes for them in my dehydrator. And they absolutely love them, especially Willow. She is like obsessed. Max likes them too, but I think she takes the cake on that. One more little piece. Actually, you know what we could do? We don't even have to do that. We can get our blending tool again, just sort of do that. And then on our next session, we'll do something in here. So we'll cover that up. But for now, we've got our front. 
We've got this pocket covered and ready. We've got this page ready and a pocket, and we'll cover that. And we also happily have this other flip made. So, all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's little project. Uh, stay tuned. I should have part two of this up very soon. I am going to be out of town for a couple of days, so be a little bit more regular next week. But stay tuned and be on the lookout for part two of our flip flop butterfly journal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Take good care, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.